Hello friends in previous part we have seen how can we update shopping cart but now in this video tutorial part we discussing on how can we insert shopping cart into database and display order summary on web page. So first of all we have to see the table structure of database, this is our shopping cart database and in this database we have three table with name like customer, order and order details. In customer table there is six table column like customer ed, customer name, address, city, postal code and country. In this table customer id is primary key and we will use customer id as foreign key in order table. We have already inserted some customer data into this table and we will fetch customer details from this table and display on web page. We have another two table like order and order details. In order table there is four table column like order id, customer id, creation date and order status. In this table order id is the primary key of this table and customer id is the foreign key of this table. So we can join customer in this order table by using this customer id key. Then after we have one table like order details and in this table we have five table column like id, order id, product name, product price product quantity. Here it is the primary key of this table and order it is the foreign keys of this table. So by using order is we can join this table with order table and in this table we will insert product details into this table. Now we have moved to multi-tab shopping cart.php page and on this page here we have add one more table row and under this table row we have define one table data tag and under this tag we have write form tag with attribute method is equal to post and action is equal to cart.php. Then after under this form we have write one submit button with input type is equal to submit with attribute name is equal to place order and value is equal to place order. When we have click on this button then after all order details will be insert into database and then after on that page we can view order summary. Same way we want to write this code on action.php page also so we have copy this code and simply go to action.php page and here we have paste this code. So whenever we have add item into the cart then at that time this place order button will appear below the shopping cart. Now we have moved to write PHP code on cart.php page, so on this page first we have write session start function, this function will start session on this page. Then after we have make database connection, so for this we have write dollar connect variable is equal to misclick connect function with for argument like host set to localhost, username set to root, password set to blank and database name set to shopping cart. This way we have make database connection. After this making database connection here we have write of statement with condition like set function with argument like dollar post place order variable. Here place order is the name of submit button and this condition will check the value of this variable is set or not. If set then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have write dollar insert order variable is equal to insert into order with column like customer id, creation date, order status with values like 1, date function with current date and pending. This is insert query for insert data into order table and here we have write customer id 1 for learning purpose. Then after we have write dollar order id variable is equal to blank, in this variable we will store order id for future use. Now we have write if statement with condition like misclick query function with two argument like database connection string dollar connect and in second argument we have write dollar insert order variable. Here this function will execute insert query and if data inserted successfully then it will return true and it will execute if block of code. And under this block we have write dollar order id variable is equal to misclick inserted function with one argument like database connection string dollar connect. 
Here this function will return last inserted it and we have store in $2 order it variable. Now we have create $1 session order it variable and in this variable we have store value of last inserted order it. This way we have create one new session variable and store order id number into this variable. Then after we have write dollar order details variable is equal to dollar order details variable is equal to blank. In this variable we will store insert query for order details table. Now we have write for each loop and under this we have write dollar sessions shopping cart as dollar keys and dollar values. In this session variable we have store details of product which we have added into cart which we have already discussed in previous video. By using for each loop we have fetch keys and values of this session variable array. Then after we have write dollar order details variable with string concatenation operator equal to insert into order details table with column like order id, product name, product price, product quantity with values like dollar order id variable, dollar values product name variable, dollar values product price variable and dollar values product quantity variable. This is simple insert query which we have store in $2 order details variable. So here it will generate insert query according to how many product added has been added into cart and all insert query has been stored into this dollar order details variable. Now we want to execute all insert query which we have stored in dollar order details variable. So we have write of statement with miscly multi query function with two argument like dollar connect variable which is database connection string and dollar order details variable in which we have store multiple insert query. This function will insert multiple records into table and return true. Suppose it will return true then it will execute if block of code. Under this block first we have write unset function with argument like dollar session shopping cart variable. This function will remove dollar session shopping cart variable. This way we have clear shopping cart item and cart will be clear. Then after we want to display thank you message, so for this we have write echo statement with text like open and close script tag and between this tag we have write message like you have successfully placed an order thank you. This message will be appear on the web page. Now we want to redirect page to cart.php page, so we have again write echo statement with text like open and close script tag and between this tag we have write window.location.href is equal to cart.php page. This script will redirect page to cart.php. This is because we want to refresh page data for displaying order summary on this page so here we have page redirect to cart.php. After inserting shopping cart product into database, now we want to display order summary on this page, so we have write of statement with condition like set dollar session order id variable, this condition will check value of this session variable is set or not. If value is set then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have defined three variable like dollar customer details, dollar order details and dollar total. In customer details variable we will store customer details under this variable. In order details variable we will store order details under this variable and under total variable we will store total of order. Then after we have write query variable is equal select star from order table and our join table order details on order details table dot order it is equal to order table dot order id. This query will join order table with order details table on the basis of common table column like order in both table. After this we have write inner join customer table on customer table dot customer it is equal to order table dot customer id. Here both join table like order table and order details table has been joined with customer table on the basis on common table column like customer id in both table like customer table and order table. Lastly we have write where condition like where order table dot order it is equal to dollar session order it variable. 
Here this query will join three table like customer, order and order details on the basis of order id which is equal to dollar session variable. This way we have create join table by using this query. Then after we have write dollar result variable is equal to misclick query function with two argument like dollar connect variable and dollar query variable. This function will execute query and store result into dollar result variable. Now we have write while loop with condition like dollar row variable is equal to miscly fetch array function with argument like dollar result variable. This function will convert query result to associative array and store result into dollar result variable. Under this while loop first we have write dollar customer details variable and in this variable we have store customer details like customer name, address, city, postal code and country. This all details we have fetch from dollar row variable and store into this customer details variable. Then after we have write dollar order details variable is equal to concatenation operator equal to open and close table row tag in between this tag we have write for table data tag. In first tag we have write dollar row product name variable. In second table data tag we have store product quantity. So we have write dollar row product quantity variable. In third tag we want to display product price, so we have in this tag we have write dollar row product price variable and in last table data tag we want to display total of particular product price, so in this tag we have write number format function with two argument, in first argument we have write dollar row product quantity into dollar row product price and in second argument we have defined two decimal point. This way we have print total of particular product. Then after we have write dollar total variable is equal to dollar total plus dollar row product quantity into dollar row product price. Here we have calculate total of whole order and store into this dollar total variable. Now we want to display order summary with customer details and order details. So we have write echo statement with text like order summary for order no dollar session order id variable. This way we can display dynamic order summary with dynamic order number. Then after we want to display customer details which we have store into customer details variable. So first we have create table with class is equal to table and under this table we have create one row and between this row we have create table data tag and between this tag we have write text like customer details. Then after we have create one more table row and between table row we have create one more table data tag and between this tag we have write dollar customer details variable. This way we can display customer details on web page which we have store into dollar customer details variable. After this we have create one more table row for displaying text like order details and then after we have create one more table row tag and under this row we have create table data tag and under this tag we have create one more table with table head like product name, quantity, price and total. Then after we have write dollar order details variable, in this variable we have store order details in table format and this will display order details here in table format. Lastly we want to display total of whole order, so we have create one more table row and under this table row we have create two table data tag. In first tag we have write text total and in second tag we have write number format function with two argument. In first argument we have write dollar total variable and in second argument we have write decimal two point. This will print total of whole order which we have already calculated and store into dollar total variable.
So friends our code is ready for inserting shopping cart details into database and display order summary details on web page. So we have save all page and check output in browser. Friends you can see that product has been display under product tab and when we have add product into cart then after in cart tab we can see the cart details with place order button. We have add some more product onto shopping cart. After adding product into shopping cart we have go to cart tab and in cart tab we can see the all product which we have added into cart. Now we have click on this place order button. When we have click on place order button then after we can see one thank you message has been appear on web page and after click ok then page has been redirect to cart.php page and on this page we can see the order summary which we have added product onto cart. Here we can see the customer details and order details with total of whole order. So this way we can insert shopping cart details into database and can see that details on web page. For this things first we have create one submit button in shopping cart table and when we have see the cart details then below cart we can see one place order button. When we have click on that button then page has been redirect to cart.php page and whole shopping cart details has been insert into database. This shopping cart details has been insert into two table like order and order details. For inserting data we have used two new function like miscly inserted function for getting last inserted and miscly multi query function for executing multiple insert query. After insert data we have unset session shopping cart variable and then after we have create one more session order it variable and in this variable we have store last inserted order it and by using this variable we have display order details on web page. For displaying order details we have used dollar session order it variable and then after we have make query for join three table like customer order and order details. After joining three table query we have execute query and after this we have fetch data and displaying that data on web page. This way we have insert shopping cart data into table. So if you like this video tutorial, please share this video with your friends or even you can also share this video on social media also. Friends if you want to get more update of my video tutorial, so you can subscribe my YouTube channel. Friends you can also like my Facebook page or you can also follow Webs Listen on Twitter.